This video is going to compare ring ouzel, a summer migrant which inhabits wild upland areas in the north and west, with blackbird, a familiar bird that is found in a very wide range of habitats across the UK, including mountain and moorland. The male ring ouzel is a distinctive bird and is unlikely to be confused with blackbird. The large white chest crescent is an obvious and characteristic feature, but females and young birds are far less easy to identify and there is the added confusion of blackbirds with white markings, to which they are very commonly prone, and sometimes this can even be a neat white chest crescent. Luckily, there are several other features which hold true for all ages and sexes that can help us separate these two species. Although they are birds of upland habitats, ring ouzels can and do turn up anywhere on migration, moving through in March to May and again in September to November. They are short distance migrants and there have been recent records of birds wintering in gardens in the far southwest of England, although this is very rare. The birds can turn up on lowland heaths, berry bearing bushes in urban areas and even in arable fields on migration and they are always a possibility whilst undertaking survey work in lowland areas during migration periods. Although the chest crescent is the most well known plumage feature, it is not necessarily the most useful. Young ring ouzels, especially first winter females, lack this feature altogether. However, all ring ouzels share two features that are never seen on blackbird. Firstly, the feathers on the flanks and undertail are all pale edged, giving a very distinctive scalloped or scaly impression. This is most obvious on young or female birds. The second feature is the pale edges to the flight feathers, and whilst this is not particularly obvious in flight, it forms an utterly characteristic silvery white panel on the closed wing. Blackbirds never share these features, although do be aware of young female blackbirds especially, that can have mottled plumage, although this mottling is formed by the pale centres to the feathers rather than pale edges. And also, the mottling tends to be most noticeable on the chest rather than the flanks. First winter male blackbirds, although they have molted much of their plumage into their adult black livery, can retain the worn and faded wing feathers. In this case, however, the whole wing is pale brown and doesn't show the clear, silvery white feather edges. The ring ouzel is the wilder, shyer mountain cousin of the blackbird, and its jizz gives a more lithe impression. A dark tipped bill, more upright pose, and proportionally longer tail combine to give a less domestic and dumpy appearance than the familiar blackbird. Its song, which is often delivered from a rock or isolated tree, is likewise suited to its home. It is desolate with very short blackbird-like phrases, although these are delivered hesitantly and repeated three times or more before moving on. The individual phrases are rich and bubbling and carry well, but they lack the depth and flutiness of blackbird. Flushed birds will usually fly to a rock or exposed tree, giving the bird a viewpoint of the local area. Blackbirds are enthusiastic songsters and can be heard on occasion throughout the year. Individual phrases are rich and seem well practiced. They are certainly delivered with confidence and often from an exposed perch. Each part of the song is well measured and there are brief, timely pauses, as if for breath, before the next verse is tackled. Flush birds usually disappear, almost hysterically, into dense shrubs or vegetation. If you have a black coloured bird with a clear white chest crescent and possibly other white patches, which shows a bright yellow bill and obvious eye ring, you are actually looking at a male blackbird with white feathering. And in gardens, this is actually a more common occurrence than a visit from a ring ouzel. 